Hello, all of my friends, um, all of my relations. My name in Chakta is Aboha Chihua, which means the abode or the dwelling place of Jehovah as I walk in the way of Jesus. And it's Kenny Wallace in English. And um, yeah, so I, I just, I've gotten excited about doing these, these kind of bead and chat videos. Um, I really miss the days when I got to sit with uh, my friends and the beating circles and, and so I um, thought I would do a virtual expression of that as I make these, uh, these earrings, right? So um, beading is one of those, those things that have many, many uh, nations here on Turtle Island have been, have been doing, um, first with natural resources we were given and then we took uh, the, the glass beads that were brought over and uh, turned them into uh, an art form all our own. And so I've really enjoyed uh, making beautiful earrings like this and getting to, to be with people, sitting around and talking and telling the stories, um, learning about each other, particularly in urban settings where um, we're not necessarily or traditional lands or things like that. Um, so, like for me, I've never, I've never lived on the reserve um, reservation. And, uh, but I feel close to um, to my folks when when I get to do things the way that they did. Um, and I, I have found that in urban settings, uh, doing beadwork has been a great way for people to remain connected to their culture even when they're not necessarily um, so yeah. um some people have asked like hey aren't you black i think uh, like <laughs> i was once called the black beater and um i think that's a, a name that I'm, i might kind of run with that right like um yeah i i do look black because i am black Right, my ancestors were brought over from um, the Benin and Togo area of of Africa as slaves, and then um, they intermarried uh, on my mom's side with the Choctaw, and on my dad's side with the Pawnee, um, and then on both sides they I had these African ancestors. So I am very much black. I'm also very much indigenous, and I, I claim both of those, right? Um, I feel like Creator has made me complete and has written my story uniquely and on purpose. And um, and so, yeah, I've been living into that recently. Uh, I had an elder, uh, Dr. Richard Twist, who, who told me I needed to press into the fullness of my heritage. And ever since then, it was gosh, over over ten years ago, I've been doing that, right? Like so I fully embrace my black side, I fully embrace my indigenous side, and um, yeah, I don't necessarily feel like I need a status card or something like that to tell me who I am. Um, although I am within my rights in the US anyway to do that. I live in Canada now, so I'm a visitor on Territory six, so shout out to the the Oneida and the Chippewa, the Thames and the Haudenosaunee in this area. So thanks for hosting me here. Um, but yeah, it's it's been it's been great to be able to do this, and I can't wait for the day when we all get to be sitting around the table again, doing um, beating circles um, in person. If, uh, if you're interested in doing kind of like uh, any sort of virtual beating circle though, let me know. We, we might be able to arrange that, right? Make it, make it work, make it happen. Um, do what we can in the meantime. Yeah, um, Don Conejo Designs, if you're interested in seeing some of the work I've been doing, 
I um, I finished these kind of gemstone medallion front pieces. Now I have to put a back on it and put some edging and put the posts and stuff on there. But I was very excited about finishing that and um, sharing some more of my my beadwork in this way with my indigenous community coming up here in um, in uh, June. I also work as a seminary professor with uh, Nate's uh, Learning Community. So that's the North American Institute for Indigenous Theological Studies. And so um, we are out there trying to figure out what it means for us to be um, fully indigenous and fully Christian, authentically indigenous and authentically Christian. And, um, and I find this is one of the ways I do that, right? So when I'm beating, I, I was taught to try to have good thoughts as you're, you're doing this um, because you're, you're, putting, you're putting that into your artwork. Well, I do the same thing with my, my worship, right? So when I'm, when I'm beating this stuff and I, I'm praying, I'm putting my prayers into these pieces and I'm putting my worship into these pieces as well. And so it's, uh, it carries that. It carries the story that, um, I put in as I string these, <laughs> these beads onto the, the thread. And, um, and I hope that whoever wears them can, can feel that, that it can, can draw them closer to, to creator. If um, you want to hear more about what that looks like, shoot me a message. I'd love to, to talk with you more about how beading is a cultural activity, how it could be worship, um, how it's good medicine. Let me know. I look forward to having these conversations as we sit around the virtual beading table. <laughs>